Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom. America's number one choice for premier collector cars for over 30 years. Today we have an awesome vehicle to present. We do extremely well with the Chevelles and we have here a 1969. Let's check it out. Let's start off with the motor, uh, 396 as indicated on the air cleaner. The driver's side of the hood closure has your cowl tag. Um, we will take a photo of that so you can see it on our website. Beneath the cowl tag is that big gold contraption that is your power brake booster. Cars equipped with power brakes. It's hard to see the power steering reservoir, but it does have power steering. And the reason it's hard to see it is because the car is equipped with air conditioning and it does work. So anytime you're looking at one of our cars online, look for this thing right here. I see your AC compressor. And that'll tell you if the car has air conditioning or not. <clears throat> uh, this car is pretty desirable due to the fact that it's a big block, it's true SS, and it is a center console four-speed vehicle. So let's start with the paint on the hood here. Uh, real nice condition, uniform color, uniform clear, uh, no issues going on up top, hood, fenders, uh, your chrome grills, and your hood scoops are in great shape. <clears throat> Take a look at the uh, front of the car. SS396 in the center of the grill, uh, chrome on the front bumper is fantastic. This is a mean looking car. Let's step around to the driver's side and look at a couple things. First of all, the car does have wheel opening moldings on all four uh, corners, so you can check those out. Those are in good shape. Uh, center caps, beauty rings, Cooper raised white letters, all in real nice condition as far as the wheels and tires are concerned. <clears throat> While we're on the front fender, let's take a look at our paint condition. High, middle, low, uh, there are no issues there. Get a good shot for you at the bottom of the... Uh, fender. Let's jump up to our uh, front windshield. Uh, nice uh, glass clarity. The chrome that encompasses the front windshield is in nice shape. Your vinyl tops in nice condition. No issues going down the A-pillar. No issues above the front windshield. So let's take a look at our uh, glass here on the driver door and then of course on our quarter window. Uh, overall in pretty decent condition. It does have your you know, typical faint scratches that are you know, you, used to seeing in these uh, cars of this age, but uh, overall pretty good condition um, throughout the entire vehicle. Uh, the car does have uh, dual chrome mirrors, one on the driver's door, one on the passenger door. And while we're on the door, let's look at, first of all, uh, the body fitment. Uh, door fits nicely to the front fender and to the rear quarter and then uh, there are no paint issues um, on the bottom of the door at all. Let's get into the interior. <clears throat> uh, white uh, interior, black carpeting, uh, the door panel here on the driver's side, it, it is a little wavy, it does have a little bit of warping to it, um, so that is what it is. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I'm telling you it's there. So you can expect that when it shows up. Uh, let's check out the uh, back seat, uh, vinyl condition in the back seat. Now, you know, it, it's a white interior, so it is your typical, you know, uh, aged white interior. It's not gleaming white, but the interior is in real nice shape. It's not heavily stained or anything like that. Uh, headliners in nice condition, no rips or tears in it. Uh, the uh, front seats, seat belts, um, carpeting is in real nice condition. Floor mats are brand new. I already told you it's a center console four-speed car. There's your uh, vents for your vintage air. Steering wheel looks to be newer. So let's check out the rest of the outside. So the uh, Rear quarter here on the driver's side, once again, there's no paint issues um, around the wheel, uh, low on the uh, quarter. The uh, vinyl top here where it drops down to your rear quarter in real nice shape. Uh, glass clarity on the rear window, also in nice condition. Chrome is nice around your uh, rear window. There's no uh, rust issues in the vinyl top. 
all nice and solid. Uh, the red on uh, the top of the quarters and the deck lid, uh, the uh, colors are nice and uniform. Uh, there's no uh, bubbles, blisters, cracks. Chrome on the rear bumper, just as nice as the front. Uh, very faint scratching right here, just a little bit. I don't know if you can even see it in the uh, in the camera. Just a couple little little scratches, but there's no uh, chrome peel. There's no rust around those bumper bolts you see back there. You do see that uh, dual uh, chrome exhaust. We'll take a look at the uh, entire exhaust system when the car's up in the air. Let's check out our trunk. So. Um, no jack, no spare. It'd be located like right here if there was one. Uh, but your trunk pan is in real nice shape. No rust or rot. Passenger side. Paint, body lines, both real nice on the car. No issues. Um, look at how nicely that door fits to the rear quarter there. Nice and snug. The uh, rear quarter of the car, there's no paint issues down low. No paint issues around any of the wheels. All your wheel opening moldings are put on nicely. Uh, the uh, rally wheels, the center caps, beauty rings, that, they look to be, uh, if not brand new, definitely newer. <clears throat> no documentation on this car, when it was painted, when the motor was rebuilt, when the training was rebuilt, any of that. If we have any of that, uh, we certainly disclose it. Um, the uh, vinyl top here on the passenger side of the car is in real nice condition. Let's check out the uh, passenger side door panel. Just a little warp, just like the driver's side was. Not sure why, but you know they're both a little wavy. Um, the seats, both driver and passenger, in real nice shape. The, uh, the carpeting looks brand new. The uh, floor mats are brand new. The dash pad's in nice condition. There's no issues there. Her shifter. Oh, here, I forgot to show you something. I gotta show you something on this side. I just thought of it. Uh, the drip rail molding is dented right here, like right above the uh, driver window. So I forgot to point that out. Okay. Let's go back to, the, I don't want to show up and you say, well, you didn't show me that. See, I forget stuff, and I will forget stuff. That's why you got to come in person. Um, so, passenger side, front fender and door, all real nice. They line up nicely. They're not rubbing. Um, the uh, paint, nice on both uh, the fender and the door. You can see low there. There's no issues to talk about. What could be better? A Chevrolet Chevelle, red exterior, four-speed, big block car, AC. Awesome. Let's uh, take it out back. We're going to put it up in the air and do an undercarriage uh, presentation for you. And after that, we'll do the drive. As I just stated a couple moments ago, I do encourage you to come in person and take a look at this car for yourself. It is a driver quality 1969 Chevrolet Chevelle. It is not that brand new uh, Camaro or a brand new Corvette that's sitting at the Chevy store right now. Uh, you know, these cars are old. They've had motor changes, drivetrain changes, uh, possible interior, exterior color changes. Uh, you know, so we have a uh, beautiful facility here in Daytona Beach, 25,000 square feet, 60 to 70 cars on hand, most of which we own. Uh, we'd be more than happy to pull this Chevelle outside for you. You can look at it real good out in the uh, natural sunshine. We'll put it up in the air for you. You can check out the undercarriage, just like we're going to do here momentarily. We'll let you drive the car. You can see if you like the way the car handles, accelerates, stops, steers. Uh, if there's anything you don't like, you know, noises, squeaks, rattles. Uh, this way, when the car shows up, wherever you might be located at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself. We try to do the best job we possibly can to disclose to you in a 20 to 25 minute video presentation um, everything that we can show you about the car and tell you about the car. Uh, however, I think that's already too long. You know, I'd, I'd like to keep them to 15 minutes, but look, there's a lot to cover in that 20 minute time frame. Um, 
But when you're here, you can go over the car for 45 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, make sure you're uh, real confident about your purchase. Let's take uh, our 69 Chevelle around the uh, building here. We'll throw it up in the air and check out the undercarriage. Underneath our 69 Chevelle, let's get a shot of the front seal and front of the pan. I know there's a lot of black up there. I'm giving you the best angle we can got. Uh, everything looks to be nice and dry at this time. Disc brakes up front on this car. Then a pair of headers. Uh, the cross member supporting the transmission up looks to be in pretty good condition. Uh, headers don't appear to be punctured or collapsed in any way. Uh, the floor pans itself uh, look to be in good shape. The car was not originally a four-speed car, so you can see where somebody has put the four-speed in, but they've done a nice job there. Uh, the pans themselves, all one solid piece, both driver and passenger side. Uh, there's no uh, patchwork or silicone or sections that I can see. Uh, the exhaust pipes look good. Going back to the mufflers, there's no name brand on the mufflers, so do not know what uh, brand they are. The uh, rear of the car has drum brakes. The car does have a 12 bolt. Uh, the tires on the car are in uh, great condition. They are from 22. There are plenty of, there's plenty of tread on them and they're not dry rotted or cracked or anything. Frame rails look good on both sides, the driver's side and passenger side going back to the bumper up over the uh, rear end. Nineteen sixty nine big block Chevelle, four speed car with air. We're going to set it down on the ground, and take it on a test drive. Before we do that, let's discuss how we pay for this car. If you're a cash buyer, cashier's check from your bank or bank wire transfer. If you're financing, the collect car lenders we work with will do 5 to 15 year loans on these cars. The loan term is going to be based on your credit score, your debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the car. So there's a lot of variables there. So uh, the lender will contact you directly. They will discuss your uh, monthly payment rate and term. And if you like what you hear, you can go ahead and give us a call. Um, we'll get the whole process started. Once the vehicle is funded, they're old cars. Therefore, we put them through a pre-delivery inspection. We make sure, give the car one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility. Uh, you know, do things, check lug nut torque, tire pressure, uh, fluids, uh, wipers, reverse lights, you know, things like that. Old cars, anything can happen. Anything can start leaking, anything can stop working in any given moment. So, we do the inspection. The inspection is recorded when the car gets there, you'll have a little USB thumb drive on the keychain. I'll have the pre-delivery inspection, this YouTube video you're watching right now, as well as all the photos we took of the car in our showroom. Once the vehicle is put through inspection, it's detailed, and then a carrier is dispatched if we are handling the shipping on your behalf. Typically, we can have a truck here within 48 hours. However, it is more time if you are in a more difficult destination. And those of you that are probably know who you are. But Allow us four, five, six business days. We will get to your vehicle as quickly as we possibly can. We do this a few times a month. Uh, we have this whole process streamlined. So the whole thing happens a lot sooner than you think. Even when you're financing, if you're fast with your paperwork, your insurance, your DocuSigns, they can have us funded the same day. So it's really quick. Let's set our 69 Chevelle down on the ground. We'll take it on a test drive and show you how the car runs out. Okay, let's set our 69 Chevelle. Horn. Tilt. Driver's side turn, 21,124 is the mileage on the odometer, title reads exempt, true miles unknown. We got two tacks, not sure why, but only one works, the one that's supposed to. That sissy little one in the center doesn't work. Passenger side, fuel gauge temp, oil pressure, battery, all work. Important part, AC. So it does function, and we will need it today, so I will keep it working. 
uh, radio. Radio works. Uh, what didn't I show you? A turn signal? Oh, wipers. So those work. Let's drive it. Check out that traction. Speedo's working. Tax working. AC's working. Steering in the car is nice and tight. You see there's no vibrations in the steering wheel. Shifter's nice and firm. Like it. Temp check. That temperature gauge right there, not even halfway up. So we're cooling like we should be. Cool car. We're going to uh, run it through all four gears up here. Uh, when we take the right hand turn, I'll show you the brakes. Nobody behind me. All right, brakes. How nice the car stops. Stops with ease and doesn't pull one direction or the other. All right. Let's see, yeah. got some cars. Hang tight one second. Notice we're idling nicely. Three ninety six has good pickup. Uh, the shift lever real easy to find the keyway. Nice easy shifts. Uh, you do have to bring the clutch out, you know, three quarters of the way before it starts to grab. But we're running cool. No engine vibration, tranny vibration, tire vibration. AC. Windows up. It's about eh, 77, 78 degrees today here in Daytona Beach. So uh, I would not be riding with the windows up if it was not blowing ice cold in here. So that's a good thing too. A 69 Chevelle 4-speed red with AC, power steering, power brakes. What more could you ask for? 386-944-9219 is your contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hanksters.com is our website where you can find all the photos of this car along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. The full retail price our Chevelle includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. We do not ship anything open unless it will not physically fit in there. It also, which is very few. Uh, it also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on the 396, the 4-speed, and your 12-bolt rear. It doesn't cover batteries, brakes, starters, alternators, if the AC stops blowing cold. None of that stuff is covered. That's uh, part of the uh, gift you get with owning an old vehicle. You can expect maintenance from time to time. Is the price of the car negotiable? Most certainly it is within reason. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Oh, Mr. FedEx man wants to turn. Also, the shipping comes off. At full retail price, we handle all your shipping logistics. We look into the carrier, make sure they're licensed, bonded, insured. We set up the pickup at our showroom. We arrange the delivery at your home or business. We pay the driver. We track the car. At a negotiated cost, you can handle that like work on your own. Of course, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you can come drive this fine automobile home and you have ice cold AC to do it in. Hangsters Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida, hangsters.com. Check us out.